So there are like tricks and stuff that I'm going to help with, but the movement to get to places is just, you probably work out yourself. Um, yeah, just back walking is quicker. Um, and try and fit that in where you can, I guess, for so I can speed this up. So, just uh, one roll. You can do two, but usually it's one roll. Um, so as soon as you finish that, you press press straight up. Or yeah, that way, away from the camera. Back flip and just back walk. Then when you get here, or just around here, I mean, you can do two side hops here, and then you might stop like that. But you don't need to get this rupee. But yeah, you can do one side hop and then back flip over there. Then you just back walk and then roll and straight into the cool space. I mean, you can really make your own movement up. <clears throat> right, so I'm going to be showing you like a way to get the 20 rupees in Zora's River and what you can do if you're not going to get that um, because you don't have to. So if you're not getting the 20 rupees, you'd come out here and then you get that five rupees there. I try to release really C target like just as I get to the side so that I don't backflip onto the chest. Hey Barra. Can okay, anyone face the chest target it and back walk again? So still if you're not getting the twenty rupees all the way down here, there's another five rupees. Um and then as you enter this cool space you have a good opportunity to equip your sword and continue so if you weren't if you are going to get 20 rupees the only difference is you do all of that but you just don't do the extra side hops to get those f 10 rupees in there okay so if you're not getting the 20 rupees you want to backflip and you'll get that one rupee you just saw left side hop and then backflip again and there's some rupees in the air if you're if you are getting the 20 rupees when you come out you backflip and you get one rupee um so if you're not getting the 20 rupees, the other thing you can do is after doing these backflips here you backflip over here and then you slash this sign and when you break it or I don't know, I think there's a trigger, 5 rupees will come out and then you just grab them and backflip over and walk. Try not to do that. <clears throat> yeah, I am making a tutorial. Um, if you don't want to get that one in the sign, you can just grab this one here. I don't know which is quicker, but if you're not good at slashing the sign, uh, get that one. But yeah, you don't those all those five rupees. If you're getting the twenty, you don't get the ten in the cruel space. You don't get the one from the sign or down here, and you don't get the one from doing the left side hop and then backflip. But you do get the one from the backflip. Like ah, uh, I'm not good at explaining stuff, I guess. But yeah, 20 rupees doesn't save that much time. And it, it costs a lot of time if you're bad at it. So anyway, this is the first trick in the run. And this is the aqua escape. In it. Um, so I'm going to show you Navi Dive, um, set up, and the set up plus one. Hey lazy, um, so start with here's the setup so you um 
hopefully if you want to speedrun this you know it well enough to get here in the Lost Woods but yeah um, so you'll see that there's this fountain here and you want to line up in this corner here and you want to do a backflip and once you completed that backflip you want to once he lands you have a few seconds and then you press A and once he starts rolling you release um, your Z target and target afterwards <clears throat> target afterwards like this then you want to right side hop and do that same thing left side hop press A don't really see it all now um so vertical slash the wall which is literally just pressing B um while Z targeted backflip and then right side hop and you'll have one frame window um, in the side hop to press B jump slash and clip like that um so yeah I wish I was this consistent it runs. Wow, this is going cool. I hate to do the Navi's because Navi's being a bitch. Why oh I um fuck I got Navi to speak to me while I was still in the Lost Woods, I mean Kokiri Forest, so she won't appear now. But yeah, um then you just want to swim straight into that. So now I'm gonna show you the setup this one, so I'm approaching the fountain now and what I want to do is stand to this left side and you'll see that there's a crack there or a corner. You want to line up link to that and it's not like super specific pixel perfect but you'll find the right angle will be when, how do I do this, let me uh, put my mouse cursor in. So, catch your mouse cursor, can you see it? Okay, cool. So you'll see on the mini map, Link has this little um, yellow icon. That this is that's like the bottom. The bottom needs to be um, perfectly flat. There can be like a one pixel error in that, so just be a bit lenient. But it's got to be pretty much flat. Besides that, um, and then you have the right angle. So you, you know to give you a rough idea. And then it's the same. You just get into this corner, and you should clip. Um, so let's, let's take this back to the start. So it's this back a little bit. You'd want to turn around, but yeah, if you um, don't get the right angle, you'll get stuck on all these fences and lose a little time. Because when you're doing a backflip, you don't have as much speed as when you're back walking. So. This time, this oh, so I'll show you. This is what you do if you're not getting, if you are getting the twenty rupees. So you see, I skipped that five rupees. So yeah, not getting the twenty rupees. This is what you do. I mean, ah, oh, but if you are getting the twenty rupees, this is what you do. Target the chest. Um. So instead of going all the way down, I just turn around here and leave. Ooh, is mainstream. Yeah, that, that's true. Uh, so if I was getting the, the twenty, if I wasn't getting the twenty rupees, I'd do like a backflip, side hop, backflip. But I am, so I'm just gonna do one backflip and I'll get that one. And walk back here. Make sure you don't grab that grass, or else you'll just get really salty, and it'll suck. Um, climb up here. Again, not getting that. Um, so there's like, so you'll see Navi's trying to talk to me at the moment on C up. So there's like a timer for when she'll start to talk to you in each area and once you talk to her once that timer will like stop and there'll be a need to be another trigger for her to want to you for her to want to talk to you again. So see I enter a new area and it'll take some time before she talks to me. So you you can see I've got I've lined up there. It doesn't matter if you have your sword out by mistake. It just means that you have to line up slower because you can't do this roll. So if you fail, whatever um whatever happens, don't really Z. Because <clears throat> then you'll still have the same angle if you hold Z and you can literally try again without having to line up. So eventually Navi will try and talk to you. Um and what you're gonna want to do is go to this side. I, I really struggle to get it from the left, but on this side you wanna jump off here and grab this and climb straight up. Um and what I'm gonna do is when I press B you'll see that he gets his sword out and falls off. Um 
And once that happens, you'll have a window to press B again and jump slash. But you'll see once he jump slashes, once he lands, he'll take a step back and fall off again. And that's kind of how this works. Um, so he'll land on there and you use the Navi text and then he'll take that step back and fall off. And as you're, I don't know why, but you'll fall straight through the water. So now I'm mashing C up. Okay. <laughs> GG. So you mash B and once you see him start a jump slash, you mash C up. So B, C up. And then you just swim straight through. Alright. I'm going to make a save state here. So this is the bit where um, you can't be slow. It doesn't matter if you have a bad PB, you've got to be quick or it'll become night. I suppose you can still do it when it's night, but it sucks. So you just come down here, mash B when you're in the water and you'll go quicker. So now I'm going to do the 20 rupee strat. Um, and I use a swordless one because they're easier, but, well, they seem to be, but that's kind of it. Um, there's quite a lot of strats for the 20 rupees. Um, so there's one where you do this. I don't know. I'll try and do a, a sword one. I really suck at them. Yeah, as you can see. Um, so there's a few with this. So like you target here. Uh, if you're doing one where you are standing here and you want to know the angle to face, you want to aim your, your B button there and right there, roughly around there. Um, and when you side hop, you want to hold down so what I do is, I'm mashing B, I go around here, I target this wall, I hold down, and then once he touches the wall, I release C, carry on holding down, then I press straight up, side up right, and hold down. So, target straight onto this wall, hold down, release C, carry on holding down, press straight up, Z target, right side up, and hold down while I'm in the air. Then carry on mashing B and go to the end. Um, if you're not getting the 20 rupees, you just go through this area the same and don't do the 20 rupee strat. Um, because of all the rupees you got, you should have enough anyway. Um, and then you'll walk through here. So hopefully when you get here, it should be around this time of day. Um, so you want to press straight down towards the camera on your control stick, um, analog stick and roll. Um, and you'll be here to target then. Don't change the angle from when you come in, just um, so you're coming with this angle, you want to sort of straight down and target, then side hop to the right twice, and then do that target roll thing where you press A and release C once it starts. So now you could draw your sword, and you want to line up Link's head with the end of this green texture and just press A, um, and then you want to hold S position to the right, and Carol holds it, that was bad. <laughs> you can do a quick draw, which is where you... um draw your, it's a frame perfect trick, that's it. I'm pressing B and then hitting A straight after while Z targeted. Uh, to find out what your S position is, you want to hold your analog stick to the right until you see this happen. Just link turning but not m making any movement. So that's S position. In this West you don't want to release Z at all. Um, forget to... Yeah. You have a few tries. If you release Z, he'll start turning. But that's kind of that. Um, you roll straight down. It's a very specific angle, so try not to change it at all. So we'll hold this throughout. Try not to release it. And then when you get to about here, you want to start turning your angle and go through here. If you drop the S or you have the wrong S position, the owl will talk to you and that will waste a lot of time and if you're if you are slow then it can become night some people are getting salty hey baker 
Okay, right, Crocos. Um, you kind of want to copy my movement here. I'm not great at Crocos, but this is what you do. Um, chuck them around there. Baker, who just joined chat, is a way better person to explain any percent. Um, this is bad. But yeah. Um, your movement isn't that important. It's just where you put the cuckoos and where you stand. Cause um, watch for a cuckoo. It'll stand still and flap its wings, but eventually, it'll start moving. And where it moves is based on where Link is and where it's facing. So you need to try and make sure it's been thrown in to face the right direction and Link is standing in the correct place. So that it gives you it um it moves in the correct way. So now um go over here. These ones need to be facing roughly in that direction because you're gonna jump off here and that's gonna make them go in that direction. And then hopefully if you copied what I did they should all be around here if you see them on the fence um, you can tell if they're gonna go in if they're facing into the fence if they're like standing on it facing that way I would like sword slash them to make them go in because otherwise they could walk out and then you'd lose the cuckoo and your run would suck now Baker didn't teach me so then so you want to get this jump and land here. Okay, that was bad. <laughs> Enjoy watching Thief. <laughs> Alright. Sometimes you can get this weird low jump when you come off here. Um, if you get that, you've got to drop the cuckoo when you get to this fence so that you grab the ledge, but it will waste time. <clears throat> anyway, throw that cuckoo down there, jump down here, grab this. come back up here and you want to get quite close to the fence and throw it just to the side of that corner and then you want to quickly get over here so that it doesn't go into the corner that was bad I'll wait for that cocker to move before I try again I don't want to mess up the position anyway um, what I'm going to show you is just a little thing it saves some time you want to try and jump and grab this ladder Alright, um. Oh, that sucks, Baker. Anyway, so you want to get that cocker to about there. Uh, throw this cocker and then sword slash him. Roll back here and grab this cocker. And hopefully they've all gone right over here. I never get good cockers in runs. If you um, find that you're always talking to that lady, if you Z target the cocker, you won't get that text to talk to her and you'll always get. Um, the uh, icon to pick up the cuckoo or roll. Right, um, today you want to back walk straight to this rock. Uh, you'll find that it has bugs over it 100% of the time. Chuck the rock out of the way. And just, uh... So now you just uh, want to save and quit. Hey Mo. So now you want to um, open that same save again. That wasn't the same save. <clears throat> I think it's this one. Yeah, okay, so you should just have the bottle and sword. Yeah. Hey AGDQ. So then you just turn straight around, like straight up or towards the camera, whatever, yeah, and then two side hops left and you should land right on here. Then I turn to do another one. Um, so she'll talk to you. This text is not skippable. Um, it's just two text boxes. Uh, it's not fast text. 
um, but she'll talk to you. And even if you super slide past her into the loading zone, you won't be loaded. Um, you won't actually activate the loading zone until that text box has been um, exited, so it's not skippable. Um, anyway, so Sue. Um, I usually do a quick draw slump jump slash, which is that. It's just holding Z and pressing B and then A straight after. So I press B once and then I tend to mash A. But yeah, um, you can also backflip into this. Just um, it's usually it's about where the sign is that the trigger is. So you uh, you just walk straight in. Try not to Z target her. If you talk to her, you waste like an hour because she says so much. So then you just buy the shield. You can take a few steps back. So, or like in runs, you always can take like a couple steps back. Make sure you don't walk out of the shot. When you get to out here, stop and walk back. Because like, once you're past this, yeah, once you're about past her, you won't be able to get the Deku shield. So just stop when you get to her. Because I've seen a lot of people walk straight out of the shot when they get the shield. Anyway, um, so now you just want to go straight to Mido. What you can do is, I'll show you it. I'm not showing you Mido skip. Don't worry. Um, what you can do is you just come like. You uh, side side up across there. That saves like a second if you get that perfect. Um, because you you don't have to be in the water for as long. Well, that was the right frame. I'm way better at um, I don't know. I think I'm better on VC. I practice Mido skip a lot. Yeah, always try and just do the thing where you walk out of the water instead of climbing up a ledge. When I'm button mashing, I hit B with my right thumb and with, what's the finger next to your thumb called? Anyway, that finger on my left hand, I press A with that so that I could hit two buttons and get more inputs. Um, if you're a beginner, get two or three sticks, but it's not usually a problem with me. Try and jump slash into this cutscene so you have more velocity and you you might go a little bit further, but more so it'll st the text will start quicker because Link gets to his destination quicker. And right, yeah, button machine. I found that I've been, I haven't actually got my auto skip, but I've got closer to getting my auto skip on VC. And I just back walk straight into the Deku tree. I've got to the last jump slash, and then I've just timed it wrong because I don't know where to go. I've never watched a tutorial. So, another use for the quick draw jump slash, kill him. All right, so I'm going to be showing you how to do Goma Clip and also double KO. So I do damage as soon as the fight start. Uh, the fight the fight starts. And then I do the final attack behind the wall, so you need it. You need more Deku nuts for that, because you have to stun it. You have to use three nuts, four nuts for the Goma fight with this strap, instead of I think one or two if you do all the damage behind the wall. So one way to get your extra Deku nuts is to quick draw jump slash this and kill it. You could just crouch stab it because you have the same damage stored from your last jump slash. Anyway, um, trick incoming. Uh, so there's a frame in B1 skip where if you side hop you have a larger frame window, but I usually meant, like mess that up, so I just mash side hop. And yeah. But anyway, so there's a t uh, I think I have a safe state here. Hold on. Okay, yeah. So that's what happens if you don't do the quick draw jump slash. <clears throat> so there's a text box here, and t triggers like that you can um, they require Link to not be busy. 
Um, and one thing that makes Link busy is unsheathing a weapon like a Deku stick. So you have a few frame window to get out a Deku stick when coming towards this wall, and that will um. This really sucks. I'm I'm really used to VC controls. I'm I'm pretty, yeah, I'm pressing the wrong button to shield. So anyway, um. So you want to quit your, you can um, have whatever buttons you want them on, but I'll probably mess this up, but you want to come towards it with your stick and get it out about there. And because he was considered busy as he was drawing a weapon, the text box couldn't be triggered and he managed to reach and grab the vine before he had finished the action. Um, so there's another trigger for that text box here and all across here, but on this in this right, in this corner, the text, the trigger isn't there. So you can either climb that or you can just back flip onto here and jump over there for a little height advantage. So these bullshits are so trolly, I just I'm really safe with them, but when they're purple stop moving. So if you move like two times you'll see them move a little bit and then turn away. You wanna try and get that but you mess it up and it's yeah, you get knocked to the bottom and if you're in the wrong place you'll get that text box appear which we skipped before okay so I'm showing you the old B1 skip it doesn't it, it's only about two seconds slower so I wouldn't worry um, you can find tutorials for the newer one but anyway once you climb up it's to the left where it's kind of like faces you wanna target this wall and roll into here until you stop moving I mean you can walk there but while you're just learning it I advise doing it this way so what I'm gonna do is I think I have to save state for this yeah, I have less Deku Nuts, but I'll show you the other place that's quicker to get them. So you want to backflip, throw a Deku Nut um, to stun the Wachula, Sculptula behind you. Now I'm going to left side hop. Okay, um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to backflip, and while I'm in the air I'm going to press B so that Link draws his, his sword, so like that. And now once he's completed that backflip, I'm going to press A to jump slash. Um, so when Link jump slashes, you'll see who does this. He takes that step back. If he does that, you're going to be in the wrong place. But if you hold it, your shield, he'll never take that step. So that's a thing to do. Um, now I just do a backflip. Okay, that was not a backflip. So yeah, it's this. Backflip. Alright, so there's a frame. That's the frame, actually, where you want to do a side hop. So you just hold left and mash A now. So I'm not even sure which the frame for B1 skip is. Well, it ain't that. Okay. Um. So. So when you do B1 skip, you'll land in the basement, and only once you've done this B1 skip, the web in the basement won't be loaded, and you can go straight through it at the edges, not in the middle. So don't like jump into it. You just want to back walk so that you grab the ledge and then press A to drop through. Um. But if you buffer B1 skip, it will load. So, I don't know, balance it out. If you're super inconsistent and you want to buffer it, um, you're going to have... I'll show you how to burn the, burn the web with double KO as well. If you do the backflip quick enough, you don't have to shield. But yeah, that's B1 skip. The quicker place to get your nuts is there. Um, because of the jump slash you did in the setup for B1 skip, actually, the jump slash in B1 skip, um, you'll have two damage stored and the Deku Babas have two health so you can just crouch stab it and kill it. But anyway, you want to back, flip, back walk into this and then press A and you'll fall through. You don't have to jump slash or anything. Alright, so scrubs. These are my strats. I come in straight slightly to the left. I target this one as shield. Then I quickly go over here, target that one. And then I just wait for this one. You want to try and get it so that the camera is as far to the right as possible because this scrub's going to walk to the left. And see this cutscene, it'll end quicker if he goes off camera in less steps. Anyway, so now you just enter the Goma fight. You can turn around here, I do. That was slow. Anyway, you want to jump slash with a Deku stick into this cutscene so that you have four damage stored. Um, 
so that your crouch stabs deal full damage and Goma has 10 health so that's two crouch stabs and one jump slash with a sword so this time I'm going to show you double KO I think yeah this is the slower strat it's, it's about 30 to 40 seconds quicker slower even alright so you throw one nut you crouch stab throw another nut crouch stab Z target and then jump slash it um but yeah the problem with that is you have yeah you you need to have half a heart or a quarter of a heart for that so that because you saw that I took damage as I killed Goma and as the death trigger doesn't you can't trigger your death until you touch the ground it means that Goma will die first and you die after the cutscene um, so you need to have half a heart and you can either take that from full damage from like I don't know Deku Babas or quickest way that I think is probably to take in the Goma fight so so this that was considerably slow I didn't like that anyway so you can throw that second nut there or was that third yeah whatever you can throw that third nut there I don't know if it gives you a larger frame window to do that jump slash but depends whatever you feel you should have enough nuts anyway because you only need one more for the wrong warp so now you're dead so you'll come back here and you want to target this wall to get the right angle um, so what you want to do is you want to get this Deku Baba so it's kinda like that Okay. Um, so it's you want it to hit you to a distance where it's doing that and now what you want to do is I think it's you time it so you hit that third like clack of its mouth and then you want to do a roll and a side hop to the right whilst holding shield um, and this will give you a mega side hop and this will make you go super far super far back um, and onto the B2 I think it's B2 but a lot of people this is a really inconsistent trick for a lot of people and so it's a big time loss Okay, you should get that now. You want to mash backflip so you don't fall down. Because sometimes you won't get enough distance. So now you want to get infinite sword glitch um, off this Deku Baba. I'm going to have to teach you how to do infinite sword glitch if you're a noob. Okay, so you, when you're doing a crouch stab, you'll deal your last attack. But that's not relevant at the moment. Because um, infinite sword glitch is just infinite crouch stabs. You want to interrupt it with grabbing something, text from a sign, a person, or... Navi. So when you usually target something you have Navi text when you press C up. So you want to crouch and what you want to do is you want to press B, Z target and then C up. And then your sword should glow all fancy. Um, so then you want to get out your stick. Line up link about there on this white texture. Turn to the, right, the left, backflip and then your stick should be on fire. I'm not gonna tell. I'm not gonna tell you how to do flame storage because it's bull. Um, some wrong warp setups don't work when you have critical health, but the two I'm showing you do. Oh my mouse! Very sorry. So I am gonna show you the MST one. This one's optimal in categories where you're getting this heart piece. Um, because actually, you know what? Before I show you this, I'm going to show you Goma clip. So back to the Goma fight. You need extra Deku nuts for this, so remember to kill another Deku Baba. Um, so you throw a Deku nut, crouch stab, throw a Deku nut, crouch stab, and throw a Deku nut. You have a really small window to throw that Deku nut, or else Goma will just walk back up the wall. So I do the second crouch stab later, so that because um, there's a window, uh, there's you have to wait a certain time before you can deal more damage to Goma. So I'll show you. Um, So look, I did a crouch stab where Goma didn't take any damage, so that can kind of disorientate you a bit. Anyway, you want to roll down left and then get ISG. Same as before, you um, crouch stab, Z target and Navi, so C up. Um, then you want to untarget and walk towards this wall and then slowly curve over here. Okay, um, you want yeah, Goma to be about the 
So, I'm not good at emulator pause buffering. This might be bad positioning. Okay, that's the frame. So, when you're on pause, if you hear Goma scream, you're frame late, or you're late. Um, it's a frame where Goma's eye is the widest. So, Goma's eye is basically a circle. Um, and this works by doing a hover off shieldable damage, and when it fails, you land, but you go through the wall. Um, so Goma's in a bad position, it won't work. You have a couple of attempts at ISG. So here's what I tend to do, is I go over here, side hop into the corner, and then you should get Goma somewhere around there, which is pretty good. I pause on the right frame. Okay, Goma isn't close enough. You can sometimes get it on second try when that happens, but usually you're, you're fucked. Now you've got a buffer one frame, which sucks. Fuck. Playing on VC makes you way worse at pause buffering. I missed it. <sighs> Sorry about that. That was bad. Okay, so you should go to Chris. So now you're gonna wait to hear Goma take this huge like this huge step and you'll hear a big bang. So you wanna take a few steps to the right and when you hear that step, just want in the middle of that step you wanna throw your Deku nut. So wait what? Okay, Goma's gone back up. What the fuck? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't expect that. Right. One frame. Okay, there you go. Right, I'm going to mute my mic now so that you can hear Goma for when I have to throw them. That was late. <laughs> this is stupid. Um, okay, so... If Goma does that attack, it's stupid. That was late. Because you can hear that scream after Goma attacks. This is the right frame. But bad positioning again. One more frame. There you go. So then you, then you just jump slash at the wall. Um, you should see the yellow icon of Goma, um, quite close to the wall, and you'll tell that you've thrown the nut at the right time. If you mess it up, so let's say you've run out of nuts, if you run out of nuts, just reset, you've messed up. Um, but So you should have four nuts for Goma Clip, one nut for B1 Skip, and one nut for Wrong Warp. Um, but there, yeah, once Goma's dead, you have to just leave the room, come straight back in. So you can bounce out yourself, see which one you're better at. 
So yeah, with the MST run warp, I'll put a safe state in for this. So what you want to do is you want to line up Link's head on this like white shape here. Middle of Link's head. Oh yeah, you want to have the bug bottle in your hand. So you can do a cream item, so I'll put a safe state here. Side up to the left, roll, roll, backflip. You want to have a little space between those rolls. I'll show you what happens if you um, don't. So side hop, roll. You'll do that. And then you've messed up the setup. It's got to be a roll. So the second roll's got to be straight forwards. Backflip. And on the second backflip, as soon as you come as soon as you backflip, you want to press the button that your bottle's on. And then B. And he'll do this. Um so now you want to hold straight left on your controller. Straight left. So when you press B you wanna you wanna wait until you hear Link take that second step. And then you wanna press the button that your day cannots are on. Once you've pressed that you swap to Z target. And once you um start throwing the nut, you wanna swap all the way to straight left. So one side hop. And then you line up Link's head on this dark texture in the middle, turn around. And then exit the room. Okay. So this. Okay. Straight right. You make you need to make sure you throw the day cannot and then Z target. Not Z target. Swap to straight left. One side up. This dark texture. And then out this corner of the door. And you'll get that. Um. Do I mean straight right? I don't think I do. No, I don't. Yeah, you hold, roll, roll, backflip, backflip. So I'm holding straight right now. I'm still holding it and not the Z target and straight left, then one side up. I've got frame three every time. Um, so there are a few frames where you can do that adjustment. One of them is Link is mostly inside the portal but is partially out. One of them is where one of Link's legs is in the portal and the other one he's entirely but just outside the portal. Um, use that adjustment. There are a couple other frames that you can run warp with and they have different adjustments. So the frame before and the frame after all of them. Um, but I I can't do it with them, they're inconsistent and if I see them I just reset. Um, so yeah, straight right, um, some controllers have weird, like with notches, they have weird straight rights, but I forgot to do the side hop, this probably won't work, oh well, oh, yeah, okay. So to find what your straight directions is, um, you want to press so so that you'll see that that is not straight left, because you'll find that Link is going forwards a little bit. So you want to find it so you can get Link to go straight left, um, which I'm not even getting. That's straight right. There you go. There's your straight directions. So if if Link is going forwards that little bit when he starts, then you have not got the right direction. Um, mouse again. So yeah, just mess around with that a bit. I had to do that with the GameCube controller that I got a couple days ago. So yeah, target this wall. Roll, roll, backflip, backflip. Hold straight right. One, two. I think that was the last frame. So yeah, this frame sucks. I think I did it wrong, so I would just reset. You can change the order of which how you do things in that setup. But yeah, straight right. So this is frame four. This frame is the same adjustment. You shouldn't be touching the wall. I feel like I'm not getting straight left. Okay, so that worked. Um, but yeah, same adjustment. Uh, yeah. The next setup I'm going to show you. If I hope what I just showed you is is enough for you to be able to wrong walk. But anyway, this is the 8 backflips one. It's quicker if you're not getting the heart container. 
Not by much, it's still a dumb setup. Um, backflip, back, so it's eight backflips from this corner. You target the wall in this corner, and then three, four, five, six, seven. And on this eighth backflip, you want to do the ocarina items. So press the B, bottle, um, B button, I mean, bot bottle button, and then B. I failed that. GG. Hold on. So now you want to hold straight down. So just down. Um. Okay, that's the wrong angle. You'll sometimes get the wrong camera angle. Um. Make sure you don't take any steps in the middle of this. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold straight down. And on the fourth step, you want to do the same. Throw a Daikin up and Z target. One, two, three, four. And then two side hops. You won't like to have one, two steps in between the side hops. Then you turn around right in this corner. I'm not sure. I think I took five steps. You have a four frame window to throw the, da throw the Daikin up. Yeah, okay. I threw the Daikin up late, so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Straight down, fourth step, so I'm not going to talk this time, I'm just going to listen. That sounded more like three steps. Once you get over the hump, the portal's unloaded and the frames in the time will stop advancing until you do this. Okay, there you go. So it's the fourth step. You have a four frame window. It's not then Z target. It's not this. So if you can see the difference, I'm doing it's like there's a there's a boulder there. One, two, three, four. But yeah. That should cover wrong warp. Um one, two, three, four, five. Oh fuck. Okay, so now you're in this collapse, and this is one of the rooms from the middle of the collapse. But what will happen is this this time it um it will trigger this cutscene so that Zelda is there and that the timer starts. So this will happen in any if you like change your exit value so you went to any room in collapse. Once you hit a loading zone, it will play this cutscene because the timer needs to be there, so it always triggers it. You better not speed through this. Alright, so you'll have a three minute timer, but that won't be a problem unless you suck. So, yeah, straight off, um... Ah, uh, this is not a tutorial for Void Warp. I can't Void Warp. I've never tried. Um, but... If you need tips with Void Warp, a really good person to ask about it is Baker. Baker Raw. He's in chat right now, I think. But, yeah, he knows all about it, and he's pretty good at it. So if you need help... Um, just search Baker Raw. Uh, I'll put his Twitch channel in the description. And hey, Dason. So yeah, just stun follow this around. Try not to let the boulders hit you. What happened to Valia? I don't know. He doesn't stream much now. Yeah, he follows other hand. These boulders, which aren't falling, these are the ones you do not want to touch. You'll burn your shield, and if Zelda's loaded and you burn your shield, that text box, yeah, the same area as adult Zelda, will cause a crash. So don't let that happen. Don't don't crash. So this room has got Stalfos in it. So you want to um. 
walk out Zelda. And then you want to turn around to do this stick jump slash. Now you want to get ISG, um, which is kind of the same with a stick. You can still do it with a sword, but you are going to need to know how to do it with a stick for later in the run. The timing's slightly different, but you can figure it out yourself. Um, but yeah, don't get hit because you only have three hearts. Don't touch the fire. Don't touch the boulder. Try not to die here. I've died once in a run here, and I was behind PV, but I'm not too bad at stealth. Wars. If you walk into them so much that your, sh your stick goes behind their shield, they will still take damage. Also, if you break your stick, there is still a chance that they can drop one, so don't reset. I'll show you how to beat Ganon when you haven't got um, a stick. You'll have to hit him a lot more because you won't be able to store four damage. So I'll put a save state in. Which save state can I use? I guess I can move the default save state. Again, do not touch those boulders or you're wrecked. I'm on full health so it isn't a problem if the falling boulders hit me, but just the, the ones that are on the ground will burn your shield. So this one doesn't have a loading zone, it just continues. Um, again, avoid those. Stay behind or in front of Zelda. Don't try and like overtake her, or she'll push you into the, the rocks. And yeah, Next room, there's a re-dead, um, and he will always interrupt you unless you press straight up and mash A. Um, yeah, mash A. He won't scream at you or anything. Try not to talk to Zelda. Again, be it in front of Zelda or behind. Don't try and overtake her in the middle. Try and get the kiss. <laughs> Reset if you don't get it, Kappa. All right, cutscene. So, fast forward through this. So what you're gonna wanna do is the next cutscene, you wanna jump slash with a Daku stick in it to store four damage. Um, if you don't have it, jump slash with your Deku with your sword into it so you store two damage. I mean, it's. Okay, so the trigger is basically, you see this diagonal thing, it's kind of like where my B button is, it's across there. Um, yeah, at the end there. So you just jump slash into there. I have got a lot of room noise and reverb. Can't you hear it? Okay, so there's VS Navi text box, so you are going to want to mash a button at that area in the cutscene. Stick in a safe state, so then you want to draw your stick, stick Ice G, and walk straight through his legs. Straight back through, back through again. Okay, that's, like, that's the first phase of Ganon done. You'll probably find when you're doing your first run you're going to be shaking like hell. I've heard that, I, that happened to me and a lot of other people have had that as well. So, don't worry about it. Okay, again, don't talk to Zelda. Do a quick draw jump slash if you can. If you're not good at quick draw jump slashes, just go straight for ISG. Because doing a normal jump slash is slower. It's got to be quick draw. That's phase two done. Um, oh, that's good, Baker. Um, Red Phoenix was trying to help me out, getting good quality from my Blue Yeti. Um, so this is a pretty hard part of the run, incoming. <laughs> Funnily enough. Um, you've got to hit this final slash with the Master Sword on... Because when I picked up the Master Sword a minute ago, it actually let me use it as Child Link. But you want to walk straight to Ganon and hit him so the game ends. And I find that I miss that a lot. I was quite happy that I got it just then. So, let's say I don't have the Deku stick. Um, You just want to equip this. It's still in your inventory. Um, So yeah, you're not going to be able to hit his tail as easily. You're going to have to wait for it to come all the way down. It will be a super slow fight. Right, that's phase one done. A 
Right. So now, do not equip your Kakiri sword, because then you will not be able to equip the Master Sword again, and you require this to do the final slash. Forget the rest of the fight, you just need this for the final slash. So then you get ISG with this, go straight for his legs, and continue like you were doing before. Try not to die. Okay, now you're done. It's a lot slower, as you can see. Oh, but yeah, this is any percent. Um, that's it. That's how you do it. It's not hard. Anyone can do it. And same as before. So there you go. That's any percent. Um. See you at AGDQ. If you have any questions about tricks, just um, comment and I might make an individual video for it. Um, I can help, I guess. But, yeah. This is going on YouTube, in case you're wondering what I was talking about, people in chat. Um, but, yeah. If you're watching on Twitch on the highlight, just, um, I guess, do the same. Just comment in my chat when I'm next streaming. Ask me if you need any help. Um, yeah, so hopefully that helped a lot. Good luck with turns. And that's the end of the stream for now, I guess. So I'll see you guys later. So peace.